What is going on? Hello, hello. I hope everyone is doing wonderful today. So we're back home. If you saw my last video, I took you guys to the office that I do a lot of like plant maintenance and things like that and gave a semi little tour and a couple other things. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check out that one. But today, we're gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a minute. I've just been putting it off because I feel like it's gonna take me a moment, but it's it's needed. I wanna start taking care of some of the plants that have pest issues. I have a plethora of them kind of just semi in different areas. Um, I've been dealing with spider mites on a handful of plants and I think I've, I think I've taken them out. I think, I don't know. It's one of those things where you just keep spraying once a week and then you hope. So I need to give those ones a good spray down, but I have two really fun, very grown out Hoyas that have mealybugs. And the reason why I haven't really messed with them until now is just because they do fine. Like it's not, I'm not saying don't like take care of your plants, especially if they have mealies and things like that. But I lose maybe a leaf ever so often. That's it. So I've been very just like eh about it, even though I know I should definitely be in there and getting it done. For a while, I was going in about once a month and just hitting them all. But the thing about mealies, or at least in my personal experience, unless you do like a good repot, they're gonna come back. So <laughs> I kind of stopped hitting them so often and they've slowly kind of taken over, but both of the Hoyas have not stopped growing. So that's also another reason why I'm like, okay, it's whatever. I got cute little pots for them. Thus meaning I wanna do a repot, which means that I should just go ham and like really give these guys a good clean and then get them repotted and then kind of go from there. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. On top of that, we're gonna get a little creative because I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do this. I have some ideas in my head, but I want to make trellises for them and I am going to use jewelry wire to do it. So I'm gonna do it by hand. This is aluminum craft wire. I don't know the size. There was someone who went viral for doing something like this. I cannot recall for the life of me her name. I will find who it is and I'll like tag or post something just so you can go check out the original video. But this is definitely where I'm getting a lot of that inspiration. You're gonna see, I did it for these two as well, but just where they're placed, what's kind of going on. I want to redo them. I want to kind of reset everything and try again. I am slightly worried on one thing and that is soil. I'm a little low. I think I have enough to do two. I for sure have enough to do one. So we're gonna fill it out. As I grab this, this is my Hoya Astralis. I think it's Astralis or Astralis, I always forget. So this thing is pretty massive. I don't even think I have it in the full frame. So it kind of gives you an idea. I've had this one, I, I'm pretty sure I got this before I moved out of my parents' house. So I think I've had it for two years, if not at least a year. If you ever have a plant, if you ever wanted a plant that will just exist in a spot, especially if it's a really good bright spot and you want them to just do what they want, this is the plant. Like, I remember a while back before I did my bookshelves, I had it right against the west facing windows and it literally crawled and climbed and just grabbed onto the blinds, the ropes, it curved. It literally looked like it's lived in this apartment and it was just such a cool like kind of look. So I, I was a big fan of it in general before I had to like take it down. As you can see though, it is super grown out. I'll try to see if I can like bring it down a little bit. It is just going crazy. And the tent, like the vine is getting super thick too. So it's really enjoying where it's at. So I think I'm gonna keep it there, but it's time to do some maintenance. So first and foremost, the little pot that I have it in is not its actual pot, it's this. So it's very small. It's gonna be probably about like a one inch jump up, which is probably perfect. I see mealy bugs galore. I'm gonna try to turn, cause there's one right on this little yellow leaf. See if I can show it off a little bit better. Yeah, so like this tendril right here has some little mealy bugs kind of going on. I'm hoping you can kind of see it there. Yeah, they're all kind of up here. So what I am gonna do is I'm trying to decide if I wanna take them off. Yes, I'm gonna take this metal wire trellis that I made. I made it into like this eight, like figure eight shape. And it was cool at the time, but the way that this has just grown out, it kind of just doesn't look good anymore. So we are going to reset that. Here comes the fun game of untangling. I'm also trying to be pretty cautious. I don't feel like mealies move. I know they move, but I never feel like they move. But I also don't want to accidentally knock 
any of them off anywhere and then have them like traverse. I don't know if they can survive a long time without like being on like a plant or like, I don't know, if they need something or if they can kind of roam for a little bit until they find what they need. I don't know. I, I don't know too much about mealies other than that they're kind of gross and they make me kind of crawl a little bit. Only, only when you do isopropyl alcohol on them. That's the only time I get a little like, eh. I'm also excited too, just cause I haven't taken this off that little trellis since I moved everything and I can tell it's grown a lot, but I'm curious to just see how long each of the little vines are. I'm like whipping this thing and I'm like, I have my really big pothos behind me. I need to be careful. This is the side that's a lot more like <sighs> grown in and tangled up. Oh man, okay. I have just this little, bit of a chunk here left, Ooh, but oh my gosh, it is it. It's like, come on. Yes. <gasps> oh, first of all, that was how long this stupid wire was. I also adjusted the camera, so I hope it's easier to kind of see, but here's the Hoya now. She is long, uh, she's big chilling. It is time to do damage control. I'm gonna just be using isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to be beaming these little guys with it. When you use isopropyl alcohol and like a Q-tip and you just push it right on them, they kind of just go like this gross red color. It kind of looks like blood and then they just die. You can feel it too. So, and this is super gross. If I'm, if I'm right, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure with mealies, you'll fill it on the leaves and see it. it. They leave like a sticky residue behind. I'm pretty sure that little sticky residue is their poop. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, and you can just feel it like on my fingers, it's sticky and it's really gross. But hey, that's okay because we're gonna take care of it today. I'm just gonna be going and looking all through and through. Now to be extra safe, at the end of this, I am going to spray this down with uh, insecticide. Uh, I am personally using something called Arbor uh, Bio Insecticide. I will show that in a little bit. Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I can show that well. Look at that. They just make like this like weird fuzzy nest. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, and it's so sticky right here too. They'd be mad pooping. That's crazy. So now that we're getting to the nitty gritty, I think I'm gonna actually lift this one up. Now, to be fair, this Hoya seems to be a lot more grown out than my other Hoya, so I don't think it will be as annoying to take care of the other one. Ooh, see, I get little like chills. Ugh. Only when I like hit them, because especially if they're like bigger, it's just so gross, because they just go like bright red and they, it looks like blood. Like I feel like I'm popping like a bloody, like gross pimple or something. It's like the only only time a pest bothers me. That and there was one time I had to take care of a plant with scale. And this was like a different type of scale. Like it was scale, but I don't know what it was, what was going on with it. But it was so gross. Like you would, it was taking over the spicus and like you wipe down and you would just see like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like you would wipe and then on the rag, it just looked like blood. It looked like I was just scraping something and just blood was coming out. And it made me so like, ugh. And they were like bumpy and hard. So you're like really having to just like scrub that side of this ficus. Yeah, I, that was one of the only other times that I have been bothered by like having to do pest maintenance. Like spider mites, haven't had thrips. God, knock on wood. And I've seen thrips before. Those don't really bother me. I, there's something about mealy and scales. Those are the two that are just kind of icky. I think the mixture of like the stickiness and then it being like this weird little white fluffy bug that like pops kind of when it gets touched with the alcohol. It's just not a cute combo. All right, I think I got the last one. I think we're cooking with fire. Like I said, I'm gonna spray this down afterwards just to kind of help me out in those regards. I am going to start the repot. Now with the jewelry wire, I haven't decided how long I wanna do this. Cause like this thing is freaking long. Some of these, some of these vines are really long. I think I wanna go maybe this high max for this pot. Sorry, I'm plotting right now. So I'm trying to decide. I wanna do like a fun, interesting shape. Like on the, uh, my other Hoya, I did like the, you know in Spongebob when you look up in the sky and they have those like little like flower cloud things? I did a shape like that and that was super fun. I really liked it. It just didn't fit in the, the area that I had it as time progressed on. 
but I don't know if I wanna do something like that for that one again, and maybe something a little bit taller and longer for this one. I think that's might be what I go for. I am going to start getting like a good long string of this ready, and then I'm gonna go get my little wire cutter so I can cut that. We're gonna get it kind of set up in place, and then I think we're gonna start repotting this. Once it's all repotted and it's kind of set up, that's when I'm gonna go take it to the bathroom and just spray it really, really thoroughly down, really let it soak. I'm gonna get really into the soil as well too. It's the nice thing about the Arbor stuff, it's a concentration and it can go in the soil. So that way if I do have any excess like or older soil, I can at least get a really good soak in there just to kind of double check myself and make sure I am eradicating these mealies. What I'm thinking, is I'm gonna get a good amount of this just kind of stretched out first, just so I can get an idea of how tall I want it. I don't know if I should just do something simple because this one's so long. Plus it's not like I'm a pro at these or like I can make some cool intricate shape and be like, yeah, this was easy. I'm wondering if I should just do something kind of tall and pretty that way. This might look like overkill, but I'm gonna be bending this and twisting it, I think, and having some fun. Another thing I wanna do too is on this bottom here, I'm just gonna wrap it with my finger, which looks weird. But the reason why I'm doing this is that I'm hoping without cutting off circulation on my finger like an idiot, I'm gonna use this as like almost like a base in the bottom to help give it a little bit more of like a support, if that makes sense, like in the soil line, or like inside the soil, I mean. I think that will work. I also could do, cause it is a little bit on the longer side and this actually could be kind of fun. It'll be simple, but hey, we like simple and fun. I love me a good little squiggle. You can't go wrong with the fun little squiggle. So I'm gonna try to do this in a very pretty way <laughs> if I can. It would be nice if I can get the squiggles to be more even. I also don't wanna just waste a ton of time trying to get super even little squiggle lines. Plus the other thing too is like, obviously the plant's gonna wrap around it. So it's gonna hide a lot of it as well too. All right, this is what we're gonna go with. So I have my cool little trellis set up, clear out the bottom, cause we are about to unpot. So like I said, I haven't touched this thing in forever. So I'm very curious to see what it looks like. I see some of the roots have grown in, or they're starting to kind of show off from the bottom, which is exciting, but. Ooh, it definitely has a nice little root system. I do wanna to try to get rid of the majority of this soil, which sucks. I hope this doesn't stress out the Hoya too much, but I just, I feel like I'm, I, I need to in order to get rid of the mealies properly. So I am just gonna lightly rub my fingers on the sides. The roots are, like I said, it's very grown in. It looks very happy and healthy. The roots don't look like they're super, super attached to the soil. So I'm just trying to gently rub kind of back and forth here and massage it off, or at least start massaging as much as I can. I don't want to mess with the root systems too, too much, but I want most of the soil gone. Because if I do this and the mealies come back, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Okay, so I've massaged a good amount of the soil off. I think what I'm gonna go do is I am just gonna do like a kind of a quick thorough rinse just to see if that might help get some of this excess soil off. I haven't really taken off any of the roots, which I'm really happy with, because that was like my biggest concern. So I think I'm just gonna run it underwater just a little bit, just to break up some of those rougher spots, try to get as much of that soil off, and then we'll get right back to like repotting it. I just gave this a very, very good bath. <laughs> and I got a lot of that soil off. There is still some left, but I think I got what I needed. Now with this here, I am going to go ahead and start putting this in here. So I want it pretty low. She is wonky, but hey, we're having fun. And isn't that the whole point of getting into plants is just having fun? I think that's good there. So here's where this is gonna get fun because I really don't know how well this is gonna work out. I am just going to slowly put our the Hoya in. I want it to be about like yay high. And then we fill. I am going to be cutting it close soil wise. That is for sure. The trellis idea though, I think worked in the sense that I was like, I just wanna like see if I can make a base for it, like pot it in versus like when I did that one, I just stuck it right in and you saw how wobbly and wiggly it was. This one looks like it's gonna hold up a lot better. I made a mess. Like, this is the most mess of a mess I've ever made, I think. 
during a repot, but hey, it happens. Now, the one spot that I semi-flopped on is I didn't get, I meant to order like orchid clippings or some type of like clip just to make this easier for me in regards of like getting this staked up, but I just forgot. So we're gonna manually work with the plant and just wrap it around that way to the best of our ability. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm kind of sectioning these out and moving them through. This one's definitely more middle centered in the pot, so I want this to pull through that way. I think it's gonna look a lot better. I'm also using the leaves to kind of force it to like hold itself a little bit better. Since I am just kind of wrapping it around with nothing to clip it down on. I'm cracking up too because because I rinsed off the soil. The soil had a ton of perlite in it, so I keep seeing the perlite and I'm just like staring at it and being like, are you are you what I think you are? And then as soon as I crush it, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You're just perlite. Okay, there, we're gonna leave it at that. So that's the first vine there. What do we have left? I feel like we got a lot of those center parts there. We have some stuff in this back area. The focus is real right now. I just, the one thing that sucks about wrapping the Hoyas like this, especially if you're just kind of like winging it and you don't have anything to secure it, is sometimes you do one little like spin or turn and then it gets like, caught up and you're like, no, wait. And then you have to like go back and rewrap all your stuff again. So that's why I'm like focused, trying not to lose it. I think I actually, I know this will be kind of weird, but I think I'm gonna actually try to see if I can wrap it upwards and then have that. Okay, cool. I think that's what I'm gonna do for that. So far so good. I don't think I broke, oh, sorry. They're doing sweeping out there. You can hear all the noise. But I did like this half wrap here where like I wrapped it on the bottom kind of center tendril vine thingy, and then I use that as a way to make my way over this way. So we're gonna see how this holds up and how this looks. I think it'll work out, but uh, only one way to tell. If it flings off, I think I might've snapped, yeah, I definitely snapped the tendril here. I'm just gonna leave it as is, just in case I didn't, but I'm pretty sure it happened. This, yeah, this vine is very, very thick. Wait, what is, what is that? No, I didn't even realize. I guess I cut this off. <gasps> Sad. I can maybe try to propagate. I've never tried propagating Hoya, so that could be like a fun little challenge. We're just gonna guide this through. Gosh, I feel like I'm making more of a mess than I, <laughs> than anything. Now I have this long tendril here. I'm gonna do that. And then can I tuck you behind this leaf? I think I can. Yes. And then you also snapped off. All right. This is her. She is stacked. Took it to the sink. I wiped down the pot so it wasn't covered in soil and just dirt and everything like that. And I really like it. It looks so good. Let me move the little vine down. It looks really healthy. It feels good. It's very like wrapped around. I'm actually happy it wasn't as tall as I wanted it to be. I think it looks a lot better this way. I'll probably go through and adjust some of the leaves, like untuck some of the stuff here and there because there's probably a couple that are a little bit messy overall. But other than that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. This is really, really wrapped up now. So it will be a pain if the mealies come back to really get everything thoroughly. So. Fingers are crossed that we do eradicate them, but I am going to fill this up. I'm gonna go into the shower, spray it down, and then I will report back with y'all afterwards. All right, that is gonna be a wrap for today. I am so sorry I didn't get to the other Hoya, but I'm really happy with how the one turned out. I think the trellis was fun. In the end, I don't feel like it really mattered just because it like, kind of covered the entire trellis. So I'm kind of happy I did the grooves though. Even though I wanted to kind of show them off a little bit more, they really did help kind of hold up the plant, especially since I didn't have any clips and that plant is just existing on its own, which is kind of cool, kind of nice. Fingers crossed the mealies are eradicated. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But we will do the other Hoya in the future along with a lot of other things. I have so much stuff I want to go through. I'm trying to decide, a part of me kind of wants to do a video where I just do like a chore day where I just run around and do all the things that I am putting off. I think that might be good for me more than anything because there are a handful of plants that need some TLC, but I just, I, I'm so busy and I just don't focus on them. So that might be something in the future. Other than that, I know I'm rambling. 
I just wanted to say thank you so much. If you liked the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share it with a friend. It helps me out tremendously. You have no idea. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you may be, and I'll see you soon. Later.